But it is really overwhelming. The movie hasn't even come out yet. I know. Nobody's <laughs> seen this movie. I love the movie. Kumail, I have to ask, has your dad seen the movie yet? What did he think? No, he has not seen what? the movie yet. What? No, because, listen, it's very hard to get anybody to, you know, see the movie. I'm hoping uh, in a couple weeks we have a screening in New York that he can come to. He okay. really wants to come to. Otherwise, he's already bought. He called me yesterday, and, you know, he can't talk about it without crying. He called me. He was like, we tried to get tickets on November 6th, um, and half the theater was already full. We had to find another screening. He was very excited. I can't wait for him, out of all people, to see it. Lauren, what did your kids think of mom being a superhero? Well, I have to say that took a while. It took a while for my boys to actually truly appreciate the fact that their mom's a superhero. They kept on, you know, arguing with me about how fast Makari, she's not really, she's not rocking in it. She's not that fast. There's a war of people that are faster than she is. And then the Lego figure came out and that was the game changer. Wow, that's great. Let's talk about superpowers. Kumail, according to you, you shoot from your hands is how you describe your character. Uh, did you have a system? I know you've been talking about it, but is there a spe specificity, a system about this means this kind of a power, this means this kind of, like, what was that system? How do you do it correctly? Yeah, so really working with Chloe a lot on that, because, you know, you can't just sort of have your hand, it has to still look like something, even though there's CGI. So she sort of talked to me about, like, there's a ball of energy inside, and you have to, like, you're like releasing that energy. So there are times where I sort of like charge it up like a Hadouken fireball type thing, you know, and then there are times when it's just sort of finger guns. It was just all, it was truly, truly all from Chloe and then working with movement coaches so that it, you know, I had to learn how to box. I'd never boxed before. I've never yeah. done any sort of fight training, <laughs> but you, the way you sort of shoot, it's sort of like boxing. It has to feel like you're doing something. So even though on screen, you know, it's just me, shooting from my hands, <laughs> really, it was a lot of work. Yeah, absolutely. And Lauren, you were so awesome in the movie, so awesome. Did you have a specific special move to showcase your power when you're going into super speed, when you're coming out of super speed? Like, did you have a system as well? Yes. Um, also, then again, it was all about Chloe. She's the mastermind behind my movements. Um, she also said in the beginning that she wanted me to run like a girl. She didn't want me to run, you know, like a dude or, you know, anything like that. She wanted to create, I wanted to create my own, you know, stamp. So when I was training, which I trained a lot, you know, I used what's called um, a travel, travelator. It's this huge um, treadmill that you're running on and there's no handrails or anything, but we had to do different tests on how my running style would look. Wow. And then again, what you see on the screen is a blend of Chloe's work and vision and also VFX, who actually did all the work. Steph's work was amazing. It's and I so saw good. him actually the other day at the premiere and I said, thank you so much. That's awesome. I, well, I hope they release the behind the scenes footage, just the, of you like running on that treadmill thing. Cause that looked awesome. I remember you were showing it on my phone. It looks amazing. I also wanted to ask, I, I personally have been a Marvel fan since I was a little brown kid growing up in San Diego, and I never in a million years thought I would get to see so many superheroes of color representing these beautiful communities in a movie like this. Has any of that impact hit you guys yet? Most definitely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, when they first announced that Eternals, you know, who everybody was going to be in the Eternals at in San Diego Comic-Con, you could see people in the audience. You know, there were some deaf people in the audience. There were people of color. They were all screaming and just felt it, you know? And the other day, somebody actually just sent me a text or a message, you know, I'm a hearing woman. I don't know the first thing about being deaf, but I'm also a young black and I feel so seen now. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get so many messages. I wore a Sherwani, which is a traditional like Pakistani. It's our version of a tux it's where what you wear in formal events for a celebration. So I wore one and I've gotten so much feedback from that. People were so excited that I wore a Pakistani item that was actually made in Pakistan. And it is really overwhelming. The movie hasn't even come out yet. I know. Nobody's <laughs> seen this movie. So it's gonna be really exciting when people actually get to see it, but just the idea of it is really uh, moving people. 
I, I want to thank you both so much. Thank you for talking to me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I love the movie. I love Makari. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I got Kingo on order. He's coming. He's coming. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great right. rest of your thank day. Thank you.